So the video that you're watching is in France. And I said it before, and I'll say it again. The end result of socialism is communism. And this is basically what you're watching. So for many people, many people are like, I don't understand. How is it that I can see it, but other people can't see it? And the reality is, is that they can see it. You know, the people like they'll point to X, Y, and Z, and they're just like kind of like kind of dumbfounded by the fact that I don't understand why people don't get it. Like the numbers don't make sense. The logic doesn't make, make sense. They'll show you facts and everything. And it's like people, they're like, I don't understand. Like what makes me different from you and why you can't see it. But it's like plain as day to me. Many people on social media have asked that question and they don't understand quite why. And the reality is, is that the other people do understand it, but they just don't care. And it's because at the end of the day, those individuals don't value freedom. And so the freedom of responsibility is what keeps their heads in the sand and what causes them to pretend and to go along with the narrative that this is all for your benefit, right? And this is what people choose. And I said it before, like, you know, especially here in America, America is a socialist country. It has been for decades, longer than I've been alive. Longer than I've been alive. It'll be 43 come September. America has been a socialist nation for decades. And it's primarily rooted in many of the social programs. And once you have the ability to vote for social programs, you're going to keep voting for more social programs. And you abdicate your personal, uh, your personal freedom uh, to take care of yourself, to be responsible for yourself, to be responsible for your health to be responsible for your retirement, to be responsible for educating yourself and educating your family and for educating your children. And for the most part in the West, women were fooled into thinking that they were given freedom or freedom from men. We don't have to be under the tyranny of men, no more masculinity, we get to be free, right? But really that freedom came at the cost. And it's the same thing with the men. The men made the exact same choice because now they're like, wait a minute. I don't have to take care of these women anymore. I'm not responsible for these women anymore. Um, maybe I'm a little less responsible for the children I bring into the world. And the government was basically going to take over on autopilot for me. And I can have sex with these women and not have to become responsible for their safety and not become responsible for providing for them and for providing a home. And I can still have all of the benefits. And the government was basically going to take over and give them pseudo welfare jobs at my expense and the men traded their freedom of being able to earn and keep all of their money and they basically traded it for servitude and the women went right along with them and were equally fooled this is by no means just a men versus women and the men are just basically you know non-complicit the men are 100 percent complicit in what goes on and which is why i said when you look at uh, red pill content creators it's all basically white flag waving because the whole tenets of the red pill is, you know, no, no cohabitation and no marriage, no children, no, no intermingling of funds, even though the government steals your funds anyway. So this is like, doesn't even make any sense. But in essence, this is a defeatist mindset to say that, well, because of what's going on, this is what I'm not going to do. Instead of saying, I'm going to face this problem head on and we're going to make a complete change we're going to fix what our forefathers left broken for us they said instead we're going to wave that white flag and we're going to say hey i'm not going to live with these women i'm not going to take responsibility for these women i'm not going to take responsibility for these children i'm not even going to have children they're like just please leave me alone please leave. you know begging the state uh to leave them alone and this is all related to people just not wanting to take personal responsibility and so this is the end result Right. If you can't be responsible for yourself, if you can't be responsible for your family, if you can't be responsible for your health, etc., for your finances. This is the end result. The end result is people beg the government for socialism and the end result when those socialistic uh, policies that they put in place, like Social Security, like free education, cancel rent give us unemployment, et cetera, that comes to that, that comes basically uh, to its fulfillment, to the end result. I mean, we've seen, what is it, 25% of the country is on unemployment, earning roughly around $60,000 a year in unemployment. 
and they have absolutely no qualms of of doing that they've abdicated their complete uh thrown away their freedom for a stimmy check and this is the end result and this is why i say that if you don't want to be part of the system then the best thing that you can do is say you know what i'm going to go out there and i'm going to look for freedom i'm going to find a land a country or a land and we're going to start our own community a community of free people it's what our forefathers did when they came to the land that is now called the united states of america they left where they were they were under the tyranny of Europe, of Britain, and they said, we don't want to live that life, we're going to come over here, to the point where they were even willing to wage war. And this is why I, I tell people, and I've posted this numerous times, that the whole point of a protest is to show your enemy, right, whoever that might be, whether it's a government, a boss, etc., that this is how many people we're working with, and maybe you should think of stopping what you're doing and hear out what we're saying let us continue the discord otherwise we will have to use other means and so when you can no longer use the ability to reason the only thing that is left is force right this is what it is when you cannot reason with the state and say we don't want no passports we don't want no injections etc and they will force you by means of these individuals right here, as you can see, right? Back to blue, all you people who want to black the blue, all you pro-military people, right? Who do you think they're going to use to rob you of your freedom? And so it is just a mindset. It's, it's basically the cattle being led around, and you have the farmer or the herder or whatever, and then you have the sheepdogs. And that's all that police, military, etc. are. They're just nothing more than the sheepdogs that are there to keep the cattle in line. And it is not to your benefit. And this is why they say there that you know you have these. It's just propaganda. Back to blue is a huge propaganda, so that you don't fight back, right? They tell you all these honorable people. They'll show you, you know, a police officer running into a building and saving someone at the same. But what they don't show you is when they step on your neck and they say, "Show me your papers," right? <laughs> like that's the part that people forget. They imagine that some of these individuals, and they might be, like on an individual basis, they might be nice people, but collectively, collectively, when push comes to shove, and this exact same thing happened in Rome, these people will pick a paycheck over your liberty every single time. Why do you think there have been no police officers, no militaries, barely, maybe one or two people that come forward and say, hey, what you're doing is wrong, and then they quickly get ousted, or you've seen... Uh, there was a, a couple of sheriffs. There was a one sheriff that I remember who said, can't take it anymore. And he took his own life. Or you see the individuals, they just say, you know what? I quit. I can't be a part of this anymore. And the only ones that are left are the ones who are bad. The ones who are willing to take your freedom at, at, the, at the expense of, you know, you know, for, for a paycheck. And this is why I say you should never you should never back the book. But this is all related to again, you not taking responsibility for your own personal savior for for your own personal safety. It's why the founding fathers gave you the Second Amendment for this very reason. So at the end of the day and at the beginning of the day, you were responsible for your safety, but you abdicated your safety to these individuals, and now they are lording it over you. You they're tools of the state. And they've weaponized these individuals who are you know, serving. They say, what do they say? We're here to serve and protect. They're not here to serve and protect you. They're here to serve and protect the state. Eventually, people are going to have to learn from history. Or as they say, you will be doomed to repeat it. People look at, well, I don't understand. How is it that you know, Nazi Germany took place? Or how Stalin was able to come to power? Or how things fell so bad in Cuba or in Venezuela? Etc, etc, etc. And it's because at the end of the day, People just don't want to take responsibility for themselves.